What's up, everybody? My name is Dell. This is Dell on Movies. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you've been here before, thanks for hanging out with me again. Uh, today is a different kind of video I wasn't really expecting to make, but I did start a series recently where I'm going to talk about my movie theater memories and the first episode of that dropped, and I'm talking about uh, my time seeing Batman 89 in the theater. So that's what that series is all about. Please go ahead and check out that video, and that'll give you some context for this one right here if, if you haven't seen that one. Um... This video, on that video, let me go back, on that video, I, I had someone comment that they would like to see me answer a few more questions about Batman 89, and that person was Jalen Johnson, 1662 is, is the, the username, thank you Jalen, and he gave me some great questions, so I'm going to go ahead and answer those questions for him, so this is a follow-up to that, I'll call this 1A or or part 1-2, I don't know what I'll call it, but the, uh, here, let's just go ahead and get into the questions uh, about Batman 89. So, the comment, I'm not going to read the whole comment, but this part says, I don't know if you'd be interested in doing a more in-depth video on your experience with Batmania in 1989, but if you are, there are a few questions I'd like you to answer. First question, what was your reaction to Keaton being cast? So, in... Uh, 88 or so when we heard about Michael Keaton being cast I was like a lot of people I was skeptical because at that time all I knew him from was really Mr. Mom and I, I might have seen him in another comedy or something I hadn't seen Beetlejuice by that time um, so I really wasn't all that familiar with him but I was just like okay Mr. Mom is going to be Batman are we sure we're not doing Adam West and you, you got to remember again I'm 16 or so at, the, at that time when I hear about it so you know, everything is kind of service level. It's like, all right, once I hear that or I see Mr. Mom, that's all I can see somebody doing, you know, is that thing. But then, like everybody, the trailers came out, and it was like, okay, I'm, I'm definitely I'm willing to give this chance. And the hype train starts rolling. And I was, like, really excited uh, to see the movie. So who was cast as Batman really didn't matter much uh, when I walked into the theater. Um, and then after that first scene, like I said, when he's on the rooftop, I talked about that scene in the other video when he's on the rooftop and we get the whole I'm Batman thing. That was uh, that was cool and kind of squashed all my fear and just the movie was let it play out after that. Next one question is, uh, what was your reaction to seeing the bat suit for the first time? So the bat suit, again, saw it in the trailer and thought it looked really good. And I was actually excited uh, to see that suit. I was actually really happy to see that suit because it was dark and all black. And, and it was just the opposite of the Adam West suit, which, you know, had the big, I don't know if you call it gray, but the kind of grayish suit there. And, you know, Adam West was never the most fit guy. So this one, even though I know they weren't Michael Keaton's muscles, you know, the suit was armored and had all the muscles on it. So I was really excited. And he had the long horns, unlike... Uh, horns, the the long ears, unlike uh, again the Adam West suit, and uh, so I, I just thought he looked really really cool and no problem at, at all. He didn't ask this question, but my my biggest thing was the Batmobile for '89. I loved Adam West Batmobile, but this one was just a, a, another step up. Even though it was impractical, when you look at the car, it's so long, <laughs> but it was just the coolest looking thing in the world. So I was really a big fan of that. Uh, what did you think of the initial teaser trailer? I don't remember if I saw a teaser trailer, and I don't know if teaser trailers were a thing back then. I just saw a trailer, and honestly, my only real memories of that is, okay, that that looks cool. I'm, I'm going to go see this. I'm excited about it now. I, I, it, so long ago, so you got to remember, I saw this trailer for the first time in, in, the, in probably 88, maybe 89, and whenever they put it out, I don't remember. And uh, that was it was enough to get me to the theater. That, that's it. Um, not like now where movies get three, four, five, six different trailers. They get a teaser trailer and a teaser to the teaser trailer. Then they get a trailer, then first trailer, then a second trailer, and a third trailer, I, which I don't watch all those trailers now. Um, but there are so many, and we get reactions to those. I really wasn't into that wasn't a thing then, and I'm not into that now is the best way I should say it. Uh, was Batman fashion prevalent at your school? 
uh, yeah, my school's high school, and a lot of people started having things with the bat symbol on it. You know, you'd have buttons, and you'd have uh, you'd have some jackets. Um, a lot of people I knew they were shaving the bat symbol into their haircut. So it, Batman fashion, I wouldn't say it's prevalent. Everybody wasn't doing it, but it was common enough that you know nobody really batted an eye over that. Uh, next question is, what did you think of the Prince album? Of course, he did the soundtrack album for the movie. I'm a huge Prince fan, so I, I really did like the album. Insatiable is the uh, the ballad that's on the album, and that is one of my favorite Prince songs of all time. Uh, Party Man, I, I love Party Man, and it really makes that scene with the Joker. And the one song I really don't like, to be quite honest with you, is Bat Dance. I can't stand that song. It was terrible. Uh, I didn't much, I didn't really much care for the video either. But you know, it is what it is, and I, I knew it was coming. Uh, fun fact or trivia, either way, however you want to look at it, the first song that Prince taught himself to play. He, if, anybody, if you know anything about Prince, he's a self-taught musician on like 30 different instruments but the first song that he ever learned to play was the batman theme from the adam west tv show uh so nice little tidbit to know uh next do you remember watching any tv specials or news segments about it at the time most of what i saw at the time was really just about you know it was just cranking up the hype machine oh my batman has a x amount of dollar budget which is one of the biggest budgets of all time and Michael Keaton is going to be Batman, and people are upset. So it was a lot of that kind of thing. It, it wasn't really anything in particular that stood out to me about that. Um, it, there was really no controversy other than maybe the Michael Keaton thing. Um, and people were excited. Of course, Jack Nicholson was in the movie, but that was that was really it. Nothing too specific that I can really just recall off the top of my head. And uh, and that was that was all the questions. Um, anything else that I can think of really was just that I, my initial reaction to the movie as a whole, I think, I don't think I put that in the other video, but I, I was a big fan of the movie. It definitely, uh, satisfied me at, at, by the end when I walked out, I was, I was extremely happy. Jack Nicholson stole every moment that he was on the screen, uh, which the Joker should do to be quite honest with you. And it, it wasn't a, uh, wasn't the 60s style camp uh that i had been used to so it was definitely the opposite of that so i was definitely happy with all of that uh looking back on it now you can see a little bit of camp a little bit of cheese because it's 1989 but in the moment it was it was just fantastic and I, I still do really really like the movie so that's all i have for you guys on batman 89 if you have any other questions let me know i'll answer them in the comments or uh who knows maybe we'll do a part three to this i don't know i'm not sure what movie i'm going to do next for movie memories but it that one is coming uh let me know if you like these uh segments um like comment subscribe do all that good youtube stuff and uh yeah let me know so i i'll know if i can want to keep going with these otherwise you know I'll, I'll probably give it up if nobody wants to hear it but we'll see how it goes guys anyway that's all i have i'll catch you on the next one bye